doctor play God? Don't let the doctor's dilemma. It's Shaw at his deadly best. Book your tickets today. Go to ShawFest.com. Radio 15 
for 15% off. City News Time 321. Traffic and weather together. Zach Bodenstein. And that's report brought to you by the Gardner. So if you missed the traffic alert, we'll give you an update now on the eastbound 403. Approaching the link, we still have all lanes closed in Hamilton because of a vehicle fire. So it's very slow through here. But good news is that eastbound 403 lanes have reopened. We have full closure, a separate full closure for a separate issue at Aberdeen. But that's the one that's reopened. Still very slow, though, on the east 403 from approaching Wilson Street out towards Aberdeen. Uh, we do have the old if you need to get around this, and they're moving a lot better. 52 is a pretty good option for you. Wilson itself completely jammed, so you won't want to take that east down. So you can take 52 north and then end up getting off at Governor's Road, or you can continue north to Highway 5, uh, but things do slow down there eventually. Looking at the northbound 427, crash approaching Burnhamthorpe Express. Two right lanes blocked, very heavy from the Gardner in the Express. Eastbound 401, tons of volume, very busy. East of uh, Guelph Line to east of Trafalgar, approaching Winston Churchill to east of Mississauga Road, from east of the 410 and the collectors onto the south 427 ramp, and then it gets busy uh, after that as you make your way towards the 400, a uh, slow uh, on the eastbound 401 approaching Avenue in the Express, and then making your way uh, from Bayview and the collectors towards Leslie, approaching Liverpool Express to east of Salem, and then again from Broad Street to east of Sixton, westbound 401 volume delays approaching the 412 towards Salem, Markham Road Express, McCowan collectors to Kennedy. New problem on the West 401 at Allen in the Express stalled vehicle in the left lane. Very heavy from Victoria Park. Alternately, Express and Collector Shepherd is a pretty good option, both uh, east and westbound, if you want to avoid 401 delays right now as well. Uh, westbound 401 is busy west of the Allen. Alternately, expressing Collectors to Dixon. Approaching Mavis Express, Mavis Collectors towards Mississauga Road. And then from approaching Winston Churchill to west of Trafalgar. Northbound DVP, a heavy drive from Dundas to York Mills. Hire the gardener and keep your yard looking Zoom call picture perfect all season. Look at the things the gardener could do for your yard at HireTheGardener.com. That's HireTheGardener.com. With the forecast, here's Denise Andriachi. Lots of sunshine today. It's really a nice spring day. We could be warmer, that's for sure. We're still struggling with those temps and we're below seasonal, but we're up to 13 now at Pearson and our guaranteed high is 14 degrees today. We're clear through the overnight and more sunshine for Saturday. Pretty much a, a, a repeat of today, uh, but it's going to be a cooler start. Temperatures around 2 to 4 degrees for morning temps for Saturday. I keep that in mind. And then we see some wet weather Sunday, about 5 millimeters of rain expected, mostly cloudy with showers highs around 10. The overnight low for tonight near 2. Coming up at the bottom of the hour, breaking news from Kingston. The Canadian Armed Forces says four cadets are dead after a vehicle accident on the campus of Royal Military College. The latest straight ahead. Do you have a high interest rate, first or second mortgage with a trust company, private lender, credit union, or bank? Call Anton. Do you want to refinance your home to pay down high interest rate debt? Call Anton. Are you self-employed or having credit challenges? Call Anton. Anton Darmasthelen, mortgage agent with Mortgage Alliance, can assist you. Call 647-40-ANTON. He's available until midnight every day, including weekends and holidays. That's 647-40-ANTON. Or visit AntonMortgage.com. The Big Story. I'm your host, Jordan Heath Rowling. How and when did pop culture become obsessed with spoilers? Listen at the Big Story Podcast.ca or wherever you get your podcasts. This is City News. Durham police were looking for suspects, one in the break and enter of an Oshawa food bank. Investigators say they were called to the warehouse on Marwood Drive early yesterday morning to find the suspects and made off with several products, including electronics and a large panel van. They say the van was spotted by an officer on patrol several hours later, but the driver managed to escape by fleeing the scene at a high rate of speed. Police say the driver was seen wearing a green and yellow toque at the time. They're asking anyone with info to contact Durham Police or Crime Stoppers. Business next. In an effort to satisfy today's savvy consumer, the Monitoring Center provides affordable, dependable, full-service alarm monitoring for only 